The Globalization of Cell Phones We think globalization is changing the world to be faster, have better technologies, and more capable of communicating with the outside world. Dr. Martin Cooper of Motorola made the first U.S. analog mobile phone call on a larger prototype model in 1973. The size of the cell phone was 9 by 5 by 1.75 inches. It weighed 2.5 pounds and it had a charge time of 10 hours, yet the talk time was only 35 minutes. In today's world, there are two types of cell phone users. Those who are like Alexis, continually upgrading their phone for the next best thing. The other type, which are synonymous to an olive tree, simply use their phones for the sole purpose of communicating. Alex McCall is our example of an olive tree. And what kind of phone do you have? Um, I think that it's a Samsung. Oh, okay, and do you, um, is it special to you, or does no. it have any... No. I just use it to make phone calls. That's all you use it for. Um, do you keep it with you at all times, or do you leave it places? And I lose it all the time. I leave it places. Never have it. Katie Lindsay is our example of Alexis. I chose to get an iPhone because I thought it had lots of technology on it, and um, I can use it for internet, email, pretty much anything. And the reason I picked this phone over just a BlackBerry and the other phone is because of the large screen. It helps me to see more on there, and it's just a better phone to me. <laughs> Cell phones have given us the opportunity to become connected to people all around the world. They have made our lives much more convenient. If anything were to go wrong, cell phones provide an output for us to get help. Over the years, cell phones have become available to a younger audience, which has started to be a problem in many schools. Cell phones have grown from a sole provider to a competitive market. This is how you turn it on. This is your music. This is your email. This is the web, and this is a call on your iPhone. Okay, you can go. Okay, how do I use my cell phone? and why are cell phones important in my line of work? I guess that's the question. Uh, one, uh, they're important to me personally because it allows me to stay in contact with students in my job. Uh, I send text messages, I send email messages, and I receive uh, incoming calls and send calls depending on what I'm doing. But here's one of the most important for my job as dean of students. Whenever there is a, uh, an alert, an AU alert, or a serious message or notification that we need to get out, we can send a message to students wherever they are. And because today's young person doesn't rely on what we call the landlines and they don't really check emails, cell phones are critical for us to be able to communicate if there's danger, there's bad weather, or a situation that we need to um, get a, a message to them. And so that's, that's why they're really critical to me. On average, Americans 18 to 24 spend 22 hours a month talking on their cell phone. One survey stated that the cell phone was the one invention that people hate the most but can't live without. Worldwide, there are 2 billion cell phones. 54% of kids 8 to 12 will have cell phones within the next three years. We think that cell phones are a necessity in everyday life because we can use them anytime, anywhere. They connect us to anyone around the world, and most modern cell phones are multifunctional. Without them, how would you be able to connect to your friends, family, and people around you?